guys today i want to discuss on how to make a good movie with ovito so i'll be doing a simul simulation on crack propagation using lamps and then i'll try to make a movie so that you can get a clear picture of how to make a good movie so let's see the script file of the crack so this is a 2d crack propagation simulation so the dimension is 2 so it's a two dimensional system that i'm working with and now i have created my geometry like this using the lattice region create box and create atoms command so when i am specifying the create box i have specified five so the five means there are five atom types so these five atom types are used so that i can get a different color when i see the movie so for each atom type I have specified the mass because in my LJ potential where I am describing the interaction between the atoms, I am using a Lina Jones potential. So the parameters are 1 and 1. So 1 by r power 6 minus r, r power 12 minus 1 by r power 6 into 4 epsilon. So that is the potential energy of the system. So when I am specifying the potential in this format, I have not specified the mass of the atoms so i need to specify the mass of the atoms in this format but if i'm using any potential file such as eam or eam fs fin sinclair or eam alloy i the molecular weight or the atomic weight of the atoms is already specified so that's case is different so in this case we need to specify the mass now later i'm dividing the region into two things one is the lower region and the upper region then i am grouping the two lower and upper region into the boundary then i am subtracting the boundary with all the remaining atoms so i get the mobile atoms which are in between and later i specify two things one is the left upper and the another one is the left lower which i'll show you in the graph and you'll get a clear picture now i'm specifying a velocity for the mobile atoms so for doing any molecular dynamics or molecular static simulations uh, or this is actually molecular dynamic simulations so i have to give some initial velocity to the atoms so i'm using the velocity command i'm creating the uh, velocity for the atoms and i'm computing the temperature new i'm using the temperature new here which i computed above for the mobile atoms and then I am specifying a velocity for the upper boundary atoms and I am giving a velocity for the mobile atoms so that they move at some constant speed of 0.3 now I am using a fix to decide my ensemble because this is a molecular dynamic simulation I need to specify the ensemble so the ensemble is NVE where I am putting the number of atoms volume and the energy constant and i'm fixing the boundary i'm fixing this force to be zero and later this is my time step and 0 0.003 uh, picoseconds and then i'm using a dump command to dump all the atoms at each 500 thermodynamic steps into this file dump dot crack and you can't see here but i am running my simulation for 10,000 thermodynamic steps so you will see it how now i'll run my simulation so you can see that my simulation has ran for it's going to run and it completed at 10,000 steps and my simulation has been completed now let's see the script file so i have told something about the region so i am creating the region box or cube and i'm creating box i am giving five atom types to give a different color and with the create atoms i'm creating only one atom type because i need only one atom type here be uh, because of the lj potential i'm using and i also told when I'm using LJ potential, you need to specify the mass type and the atom style dump. I'm using the atom style to dump my atoms 
So there are five parameters that are specified in the dump file that are the atom ID that is one type which what type of atom is it? one two three or four or five there are five types of atoms and the x y z position of the atoms so and you know this is the upper this is the lower and this lower plus upper is a boundary so this remaining complete thing is a mobile atoms and this left upper and the left lower I'm specifying so that I can give a velocity to the left upper a constant velocity of 0.3 so that this will start moving so let's see the script file so this is the script file which I am opening and when I open this dumb dot crack I can see that the uh, the parameters specified are the atom ID which is 1 2 3 so the how many atoms are there and the type it, whether it is 4 5 3 2 1 and X Y Z positions so this is how I specify the atoms. Now, when I load the script file in Ovito, you can see that when I load it, it looks like this. So you can run the, when I press here the file content time series and I press play, you can see the atoms are moving apart and they're breaking out. The crack is propagating very heavily. So to make a movie of this, you need to go to the overlay and I want to put the coordinate tripod so that this will come in the movie. So you have to do it pre prior to making the movie. And here I say move the coordinate tripod using the mouse. So I move it like this. And now I go to movie making render active view part and I press range from 0 I will go from 0 to 15 so I am going only to 15 step and I am setting the preset to high value so that I can get a good movie and I am saying for every one, 2 frames make a movie and I am saying save the file choose so I'm saving in desktop, I'm choosing an mp4 format, I'm saying crack.mp4, I'm saving it and now I'm pressing render active viewport, you can see that the movie has been made in this way, you can close this and now you can say crack. crack.mp4 this is the file you can open this and you can see the movie it's just one second but you can see the movie has been made or otherwise you can change it to 0 to 1 I am changing every nth first one frame and I am saying to save to the same file I am saying render active viewport you can see it has run very nicely and again you can check the crack.mp4 it's saved for 2 seconds and you can see a very clear picture and you can see the coordinate system is also specified so this is how you make a movie in Ovito and thank you very much for watching this video and if you like what I am doing please subscribe to our channel and leave a comment so that I can make better movies thank you very much